The other way that we attach our wires um, is directly to the circuit board. When doing that, um, we can use a, um, a test wire. So a test wire is very easy to use. You just take a single wire and you can test some different um, points on the, uh, on the board that would then activate the toy. Um, so you can use it to, to short it. For taking the test wire, and there are buttons that are all along the bottom of this toy that activate the toy. Those wires then lead to the board. We are actually taking our test wire and touching the different, um, different spots on the board that would activate the toy. So this is basically shorting it, and that's what we're doing with our wire in parallel. So we are finding where on the board will activate the toy. Once you've figured out where to attach it, if there's already solder um, on the board, like here, it's fairly easy to solder your wire to that spot. What happens, though, is we have to make sure that we don't bridge our, um, our solder. If you do, you use the desoldering um, tool that I showed earlier. If you're attaching to a spot that does not have any solder, the easiest thing to do is to heat it up and get a bead of solder stuck to the board. Just like that. Before attaching your wire to the, um, to the toy though, you wanna make sure that you tin your wire. And in tinning the wire, what that looks like, you use your helping hands to hold your wire. You take your soldering iron in hand and your solder. And you basically want to turn your wire from copper to silver by coating it with solder. That makes it easier to attach to the board. Once you have it tinned, then you put it in a place where you want to solder it. You use your helping hands to make sure that it's stable. You want to make sure that you're not touching any other part of the board and that it's in place properly. Once it's in place, you can take your soldering iron down on it and the solder will very liquidy and once it cools it will stick to the board you want to make sure again you want to make sure you don't touch any other place except for the one contact point that you've decided will activate the toy the once you have both your wire soldered you may want to put some hot glue so that it um, it stabilizes your wire so that if it's pulled, it won't pull up the uh, part of the board. So make sure that hot glue is added um, to make sure that it's safe. You still would want to put in your strain relief and then you would either file a notch, cut out a notch with your diagonal cutters or drill a hole for the wire to come through with your Dremel.